pretty dark in here. I only came in a couple feet, as you can see. I'll try to go in and get turned around. All right. Alrighty folks, well, we have made it back here to Ralph Stover State Park, standing along the muddy Tohican Creek here as it meanders its way down, as it heads towards the Delaware River where it will ultimately end. But this is officially part two of my Ralph Stover series here, State Park number 27 if you're keeping track out there. Last week we hiked the High Rock Vista Trail, checking out some awesome cliffs, hiking above and below. This week, it's going to be a little bit different. We're going to be hiking along the Tohican here, checking out some remnants of an old dam that you can see behind me here, and uh, hopefully finding an old cave that bandits used to hide out in. So legend has it that there are millions of dollars, believe it or not, hidden in these hills. There's caves all throughout all these uh, cliffs here, and the Doan Gang would have been back here in the uh, late 1700s. Rumor has it that they stole over a million dollars. A lot of it has never been found. So we're gonna try to find the old Doan Cave and hopefully leave this state park a million dollars richer today. So uh, come along with me, it should be a good hike. Alrighty, so we will start the video off here along the banks of the Tohican River. And if you missed last week's episode, I touched upon a little bit of the history of this area and how it became a state park. So Ralph Stover lived in this area back in the 1800s. He would have owned all this land. And uh, he set out and decided that he was going to build a grist mill down along the Tohican River. And kind of a funny story, the parking lot is right there. And uh, I did want to try to find the old mill as well as the Doan Cave. I ended up setting up a time lapse here on the on this old rock ledge, not even realizing that where I was standing was the old grist mill. So right here, what we're looking at is what Ralph Stover would have built back in the 1800s. Local grain and oat would have been shipped down here where he would have processed it and sent it out to farms around the area. So right where I'm walking right now is Ralph Stover's old grist mill. So, he owned this area up until 1931, well at least his descendants did, and uh, they decided, the Stover family donated it to uh, the Pennsylvania State Park System. So we'll take a walk around here. Wildflowers are blooming everywhere today. I've seen a lot of birds. I've seen an eagle already today as well as some turkey vultures and hawks. But yeah, beautiful morning here, March 31st. And uh, we'll take a little look here at where they would have diverted the water. So the Tohican Creek would have been diverted, sent through there, and that would have turned, you know, the grindstones that would have ground up the the grain and the oats. So check mark number one, we found the old mill. Now we just have to find the Doan Cave. So All right, well, we are officially on our way to Doan's Cave. I got the flashlight 
in my book bag in case we do find it. Our next stop will be that bridge up ahead. It's kind of like an imposter cover bridge. Figured we would kind of blaze our own trail and just follow the banks of the Tohican Creek before we get there though. Uh, one thing I do want to say is Eastern Pennsylvania, uh, I'm just having a blast out here. There's so much lore and myths out in this area. It seems like every park, every area I go to out here just has its own crazy story, including this one about the Doan Brothers. I was reading a little story last night about uh, the highest point in Bucks County, which is just a couple miles away from where I'm staying tonight, uh, Haycock Mountain. Um, it's also known to locals as Ghost Mountain because there's so many ghost sightings, alien sightings, UFO sightings, as well as uh, one of the funnier stories I've seen that people swear that there's a group of albino cannibals that live up on that mountain. Arms were found, rem remains of humans, animals were found up on the mountain various times, and uh, supposedly authorities don't like going up there. So, Eastern Pennsylvania, you could literally make an entire YouTube channel just about the crazy lore and mythology in this area, including what we're doing today, looking for some lost treasure here along the Tohican Creek. Decided to take a little breather and do a little time lapse of this bridge and I just happened to read the history about it And it's actually a pretty big deal. So this is the means Ford covered bridge built back in the 1860s So fairly old uh, And like I said a pretty big deal. It is one of seven remaining Pony truss bridges left in America. So we're looking at only one of seven of these left in the entire country And this is the longest one in America. So we'll get a closer look at it We'll walk across it and I'll show you a better view of it once this time lap wraps up. So the Means Ford Cover Bridge here, longest in America. Well, here's a better look at the underbelly here of the Means Ford Bridge. As you can see, no steel reinforcements that you see in a lot of newer cover bridges or reinforced cover bridges nowadays. You can imagine the history that would have came across this bridge, bringing uh, local grain and oats to the mill back in the 1800s. Definitely a cool find here to stop at. We're actually going to be hiking down along that, uh, the Tohican Creek down that way. It's kind of a makeshift trail. I don't really think it's part of the state park anymore. But uh, yeah, I think we'll take a look at the top of the covered bridge and do a little walk over. But it is not open for vehicular traffic any longer. But yeah, one last look here at the undercarriage of the bridge here. And here's the view from the top. This is the Means Ford Covered Bridge once again, heading across the largest pony truss style bridge in all of America. And as you can see, some nice views all around. I did read that they would make these bridges this high so that the horses couldn't look over the edge and get spooked by the uh, height. But definitely a cool find here. Definitely worth stopping and checking out just the bridge if you're in the area. And yeah, I'll show you what the view is from the other side, looking down at the Tohican. So definitely worth the stop here. I was actually parked down here earlier I got a little lost trying to find the high point vista or the high rock vista and ended up having to back all the way up this hill but yeah here we are mid to the other side view of the Tohican as well as the pony trust bridge here all right enough about uh, bridges and old grist mills let's go and find some treasure now what do you say All right, well, not gonna lie, right now I am winging it just a little bit. I did see uh, 
couple other YouTubers out there hike this trail and successfully find Doan's Cave. This is not a state park trail. And I do believe you pass through private property very briefly, but we're gonna start our trek to Doan's Cave. If we find it, we find it. If we don't, we don't. That's pretty much my attitude for the day. Just a beautiful day to get out and check off yet another state park off the list. So what I do know about this trail is that it's about a half a mile before you reach Doan's Cave. And uh, there is a memorial just right above it. So we'll be keeping our eyes up in the hills here. I know we have to hike up into the woods just a little bit, but it's pretty much all I know. I have no cell service right now. Trail, all trails is not working. So definitely just winging it right now as we meander across through some little pools and stuff along the uh, Tohican Creek here. But yeah, there's a little bridge up there, but I'm gonna keep following the creek here and keep our eyes open. All right, well, so far, so good. My advice for anybody that wants to do this, even though I haven't even made it there yet, stay away from the creek. Uh, there's a pretty well beaten down established trail here up on the ridge line. And you can see there's some uh, cavey looking spots up there. We're gonna keep heading down there. Like I said, it's about a uh, half of a mile until we reach um, the cave here. So not so bad. Some really nice views of the Tohican and it looks like it gets uh, cavier down here and pretty random fun. Dead mouse on the trail. It's a little weird, but uh, yeah, we're gonna keep trucking on here. Hopefully that's not a sign. All right, well, I do believe that we've made it to the entrance of the cave here. This might not look like it because it's not, but I did want to show you folks out there something, uh, I don't know if I want to describe it as cool, but definitely different. So I'm probably gonna butcher the story, but a young man passed away up here, I'm not sure what year, and they pretty much, pretty much made this into a little shrine up here, which I think is pretty awesome. As you can see, they got, uh, all kinds of knickknacks and stuff up here. So we will watch where we walk here, obviously, but definitely a really cool area. And like I said, we made it to the cave simply because I know the cave is right below this. At least that's what I saw in some other videos, but yeah, definitely, definitely different. So uh, Sullivan, James Bird, February, 1990 until September 2010. Sad. Yeah, so stumbling upon this definitely can leave you a bit humbled. You know, you never know when it's your time. He was obviously a, a young kid, but yeah, I mean, that's kind of what makes me do what I do. Try and go and see as much as I possibly can, because you never know. But we'll leave this place in peace. Sullivan Bird, really, really awesome that they uh, put this together. I, I think I remember reading that this was one of his favorite places to come down and relax. So, all right, we're gonna keep moving on here. It's definitely sad. Well, that's kind of interesting. Never seen anybody show this in a video, but definitely uh, older, older style barrel. Hmm. 
So yeah, we're just a couple feet away from the entrance of the Doan Cave. All right, folks. Well, we have arrived at the Doan Cave here. And honestly, it was a lot easier to find than I thought. Some other smaller caves here along the ridge line. But just on over here is the entrance to at least what I'm calling the Doan Cave. Some other YouTubers as well confirmed that this was it. So this is the entrance here. So before I get my headlamp on, I'll tell you a little bit about the history of this area. So the Doan Gang operated back in the late 1700s during the Revolutionary War. They were traders. They did not like the colonists. They did not want to be American. They were loyal to the British. So they would go around Bucks County as well as New Jersey, robbing people, killing people, stealing their horses. Uh, they would rob these, these collectors that would have a lot of money, steal all the money, and then take it to these hills and caves like the ones you see behind me, stash it away. So anyway, one of the Doan brothers actually had a letter that he sent to the British telling that uh, General Washington was gonna cross the Delaware River. Uh, fortunately enough, that letter was intercepted and uh, George Washington was able to cross the Delaware. And uh, a few other little factoids about the Doans. Two of them were hung down in Philadelphia. Another one was pardoned under the terms that he would never step foot in America again. So the Doan brothers were not good guys. They were known as uh, American traders. They liked the British. So yeah, let's start on the headlamp and head on into Doan's cave here. What do you say? I'm using the uh, handheld flashlight now. As you can see, there's some wooden planks here. And it is tight. There's me, there's the, uh, the roof of the cave here. <laughs> so, let's go in and see if there's any treasure and hopefully no rattlesnakes or uh, copperheads along the way here. All right, well, here goes nothing. I ditched the uh, headlamp and I'm using the uh, handheld flashlight now. As you can see, got some wooden planks here and it is tight. There's me, there's the, uh, the roof of the cave here. <laughs> so let's go in and see if there's any treasure and hopefully no rattlesnakes or uh, copperheads along the way here. Oh yeah. So yeah, as you can see, not too big of a cave. And it looks like even some roots and stuff are starting to come through here. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, if you believe in the lore, this might have been where millions of dollars would have been stashed by the Doan brothers. So yeah, pretty dark in here. I only came in a couple feet, as you can see. I'll try to go in and get turned around. All right. So yeah, there's where we are. <laughs> there's me. Hello. <laughs> and we are uh, currently in Doan's cave here underground in Bucks County. Definitely uh, one of the crazier things I've done on this channel. All right, so I guess it's gonna wrap up this video. <laughs> we found everything we wanted to find today. Uh, if you like this channel, please subscribe. Give this video a like so I can keep doing crazy stuff like this. Check me out on Facebook and Instagram for some sneak peeks. And uh, yeah, that's gonna wrap up this video. I'll probably see you back at uh, Knock and Mixon State Park next week. All right, guys, stay safe out there. Appreciate y'all. See you next week. Oh, try turning the flush right off. <laughs> All right, see you guys. Oh, why do I do this? Storm's blowing across the lake right now.